What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. My name is Splattercat. Gave you a little pause right there because I felt like, I don't know, everybody needs a little pause in their life. My little pause, he's sitting on my lap right now. That's why I call him Little Snoot, actually. That's his name because he's got like a snubby head. I don't know. My kitten's got a snubby head, so I call him Little Snoot. That's his, that's his nickname. And then my big cat, my big orange one, my big orange booth, my bob, my homie, my friend. I call, I call him Big Bad because his, his nickname is Big Bad Booty Business. And it's kind of an amalgamation. Oh, in all honesty, the name of my cat, his nickname, Big Bad Booty Business, is... It's an amalgam. So I got him. And I first started out because he's a Norwegian forest cat, and so I started calling him Ouija up front. That's what most people call him nowadays. But, um... After that point, he moved up because he was a big fat cat. And so that made me think Big Business. And so then I started calling him Big Business. And then he started fighting with our other cat all the time and, like, rolling her over and beating her up. So he was Big Bad. And then he was Big Bad Business. And then he started taking, like, these giant dumps that would stink up the whole house. And so I started calling him Booty because he leave a stank in the house. And so now he's Big Bad Booty Business. That's that's the full run right there. That's the whole story. You got it from the start to the back. I love the guy. He's, like, 15, 16 years old now, though. I'm a little worried he ain't going to make it. He's, uh, he's straggling nowadays. He's straggling a little bit. He doesn't groom anymore. He's looking a little nappy. He's definitely not his trim, clean, muscular self that he used to be when I first got him like 10 years ago. He used to be in shape. He used to be jumping around, just fighting all the time, being a badass tomcat, and now he's just... I don't know. Now he just lays around all day, and he's just like, Murph. Murph. Mostly he just wants hugs anymore. His fighting days are behind him. He just wants to cuddle. So what do I do with crab pots? I haven't done... I mean, I assume that it gets crabs high off that crab drove, but I'm not really sure about it. It's 410, so do I bait these? Like, do I place it in water, load it with bait? Okay, so we've got to bait it. Well, maybe we'll do a little bit of fishing today then, since I'm going out to the ocean anyways. Do you get different stuff each time you do it? Where's my big purple rod at? There we go. It's got bait on the hook, right? we got 55 bait up in there. Have I made bait any time recently? Like, do I have... I actually do not. I thought that maybe I'd have a little bit more bug meat around... Ooh, okay, so I might be a little bit hard up for bait sometime soon. It doesn't have anything on it. A barbed hook. Yeah, let's use that for a little bit. Let's use the barbed hook for a while. I think we got that covered. Let's take that in right there. Okay, we'll swap that out. Yep, equip that right there. It says the barbed hook is better for, like, shitty fish. Like, I guess, like, trash fishing. But nah, I'm not that worried about it. Let me make sure I've got a little bit more of that mayo cooking up too. And once the mayo's all nice and cooked up, down to the beach we go. I feel like I've turned a corner this week. I've really, life is going good right now. Life is going good. And I'm, I'm not having trouble finding ways to be happy at the moment. Like there's stuff going on, but actually I'm just pleased about my dad's surgery is really what it comes down to. I was worried about it. Me and my old man have a really, really good relationship. I love my old man. He's the best dad you could ever hope for. I always feel really, really fortunate about it because I grew up in a neighborhood where nobody had a dad. Like, almost everybody I knew was raised by their mom or their grandma. And that's just, like, the way that it was. And my dad, I used to think he was, like, a hassle. I was like, damn, all my friends don't have dads. And, like, so they don't have anybody to get on their case and constantly make them do, like, yard work and do all these chores and shit. And my dad was, like, an old-school 1960s dad, like, sitting on the couch with a pipe. Just being like, you know, son, you should do this, this, and this. And he used to get on my nerves. But if you've got that, you should cherish it for real because... You'll come to appreciate it when you get older. You really sincerely will. So can I put these, like, anywhere? Oh, so I'll put one out here. All right, and then we'll put one out here. And we'll kind of just wait and see what happens. I don't know if I got to... Okay, so I bait it like so. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I've never done this before. So we're playing around with a new system today. Getting them crabs, playing around with it. I'm going to fish over here by this rock. I heard that later on I get to build a boat or something like that. Like, you could buy a boat at some point that allows you to go out and fish a little bit better. And you can go to, like, islands and stuff. I don't know. Oh, wow. My fish hook is weird right now. My fish hook is doing, like, oh, we could get a herring. Okay. My fish hook is doing a sticking thing right now. I'm not really sure if that's normal. But it doesn't move around a whole lot. I, like, I held down the left click that entire time, and the fishing rod did not move. So I'm assuming that this is, like, one of those things where either, like, you catch them or you don't catch them. It's a little bit squirrelier. It definitely feels squirrelier with this hook on it. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about that. We caught a sardine. Hooray. Nothing like those little fish. Nothing like those little fish to brighten up a day. We might be able to sell them for something, though. I've got, like, an entire day to kill right now, and we've got nothing else really. Oh, yeah, you might just escape. We need to take you off the... We can't be having... How do I take that off of there? There we go. 
We might have to take that one off of there. It's possible that that might not be the best hook for what we're fishing for right now. Especially since we might have some nastier fish coming through that have a little bit more pull. A little bit more weight in fishy society. Oh, cool. We got a halibut right there. That's pretty fun. That's that good stuff. I don't think we have a halibut right now that needs to go in any of our sets. I'll check before I turn anything in, but just to make sure. To keep you commenters off my back. There's another halibut right there. We have a day full of this. I guess you could say we had that total halibut all day long. That's what Total Biscuit used to call himself before he was before he was Total Biscuit. That was back when he was doing, I guess, StarCraft streams and whatnot. Oh, man. I don't think this one wants to be caught. I think we might just have to let him go. He might. He earned his freedom. He said, no, I break these chains. Uh-uh. I break these chains. And then he just flew off the hook right there, literally, just off the hook. Trying to get some of those treasures right now, too. I don't know if I've done a very good job at grabbing treasure chests along the way. I could also use more bait. I'm not, I'm not trying to lie to you right now. We could definitely use some more bait. And whereas I have disparaged those things before for not having anything but bait, now I need bait, and I bet you anything we get nothing but super awesome treasures. Be walking back with, like, fish rubies and whatnot. You go fishing and catch a ruby. You had a pretty good day. Pretty good day. I'm just going to leave it. I bet he doesn't even get outside that rate. Yep. Got ourselves another little herring. We're gonna earn some. Why are you? Mm, he changed direction on me. Ooh. All right, we'll go back over here. Change spots for a little bit. I'll probably try to go to bed early today. Our energy's a little bit low. Oh, there's a good spot over there. I didn't even see it. Well, here, let me get on that. We got a Joji Cola right there. I'm gonna drink that sucker. Yep. Would I like to drink that Joji Cola? Hell yeah, I would. Put it inside my big clay mug. I think right there will get us out into that spot. Yep. Give us the good stuff. Come on, give us that good fish, that good ish. Here we go. Another halibut. Yes, please. Oh, man, they're biting quick. We might have to stay out here all night if this thing doesn't go away. It's a little bit of an up, it's a little bit of a down. I know some people don't like the fishing episodes. We haven't done it much lately. Ah, that one fished out quick. Okay, we'll head back to town. Go back to our house and see if we can catch a little bit of a rest. Because we've been running our character kind of hard. We've been riding him hard and putting him away with That's the worst saying ever. That saying is so suggestive. That's like, I hate that saying. That saying is just like, eh, rode hard, put away wet. It made sense in the context of the time period that it came out. But for right now, uh, in modern times, a little overly suggestive for me. There's a few too many jokes that your friends can make when you use that one. And so I'd stay away from it. it might be, you might become the butt of a joke or something in there somewhere. Even worse, the taint of a joke. The butt clears the shit material. The taint just maintains it. It depends on the quality of the wiper. It depends on the quality of the wiper, and you never know. You might not be as good at wiping as you think you are. You might think you're like five stars, but maybe you like a two-star wiper, and you would never know until somebody tells you. As I'm always terrified when I go to the doctor. My doctor has a fetish for looking at my butthole. I don't know. Every time I go to my doctor, I'm like, mm, all right, she's like bend over. And she's so cute, too. That's the unfortunate part. This girl is so cute, and she's seen my butt so many times, and it's just like, man... We need to stop with this right here. I feel like we are not starting out on the proper foot. I realize I have a fiance and everything, but I still, that doesn't mean I want, oh, we didn't tend to our chickens today. Did I? Oh, they're sleeping. Did I tend to the chickens today? Maybe I did. I feel like I didn't, but I might have. I don't know. Chef bundle. He needs maple syrup, a truffle, a fried egg. Oh, I could have done that. A poppy seed. Aquamarine, red cabbage, sunflower, sea urchin. Okay, so we got a couple things in here that I have not been retaining. Oh, I messed that up badly. I could have finished that one like right now. Well, damn. Fodder bundle, that's easy enough. And over here we got a rabbit's foot. How do you get a rabbit's foot? Huh. Reward is friendship. Friendship. Okay, I can do most of this stuff. We got to start a winery, though. Which winery, it's not done in the same way as like whiskey, like in a cask. I'm not specific on how wine is how wine is taken care of, but I know it's probably not done the same way. Let's get rid of these guys over here. Yep, dump you guys real fast. I'm just gonna get rid of We got enough eggs right now. I wanna make some I wanna make some real, real good mayo. How about we make that that good mayo? That goes deep mayo, and then we'll just sell the rest of this bad mayo over here. Because we're about to have what's-her-name's birthday tomorrow anyways. So we'll put that in there. We'll make a little bit of money. I should probably do something with my cheeses right now. But you know what? It's late. I'm tired. I'm trying to get my energy back. Even the cat has gone to bed. 
And so you know it's time. My cats start to radiate around. Okay, so they're doing like a little boogie dance over there. Did that fix all the minecarts though? Like, what did that do for me altogether? Clocked another 2K. That's a pretty good day out on the farmer's corner. That's a pretty good day. I don't know when I'm going to be giving gifts to anybody either, so I should probably check on that as well. We don't have any berries left that will go inside of there, so I don't think we're going to play around with that much. Hey, remember to eat healthier. You won't have enough time to try to work hard. I'm including one of my favorite recipes. Make sure you use ripe tomatoes. So he, sp he sent over the spaghetti. So we got that spaghetti going on. That spaghetti got got. Should probably check in here for more maple syrup because I know they come out on like two separate harvestings. And so there it is. Got a little bit of oak resin too, which is going to be very, very important for these little barrels over here. Incredibly important. And so we're going to want to bring that one home pretty soon if we wanted to get our brewing going come next season. Let's deal with our animals very quickly. A few more eggs up in here. Yes, please. Make sure we make the chickens nice and happy. They're not going to be happy all winter because I can't put them out. They won't go out if I leave the door open, I don't think. I mean, I could try today, but I think they just want to stay inside during the winter. I was talking to a bunch of people that said they lost their herds during winter because they didn't put any of their stuff and they left the door open. They were just playing around with the mechanics trying to figure out how it worked. And so I've got a little bit of a leg up right there. Let's get our bee boxes finished. We got bee boxes ready to go. I'm going to need some wood. Don't think I needed stone. I think I needed wood, I think I needed iron, and I think I needed... Oh, we actually don't have a lot of iron right now. Probably should not have sold all that iron I had then. That's unfortunate. So it looks like we're going to go with two bee boxes then. Looks like we're going with two bee boxes. Although that keeps us... I was probably only going to make two anyways. We need coal. I have coal, don't I? Oh, I put it inside. Okay. I left it inside my chest. Unfortunate. A little disorganized right now. There it is. So let's make these bee boxes. So there's one. And there's two. Let's place these outside. They're not going to do anything for us right now, but they definitely will come next season. So we're going to have money coming out of our ears by the time we do this stuff next time around. Bunch of bee boxes over on that side ready to go. Deposit this good stuff. And I'll probably throw that in there just because it's not doing anything for me right now. Throw you in there, get rid of that clay, and combine the stacks. With our elite hacks, and there's Dane the Hiccup messing with me right now. I don't think I need much else on this side. Yeah, we're looking solid right there. With our refined goodies, where I got those stacked up at. There it is. So now we got some nice stuff flowing on that side. It is the old lady's birthday today, so we're going to take some mayonnaise over her way. I was walking slow for a minute. I got scared. I was like, what is going on right now? Why is he walking with a little bit of... He's got a little bit of swag in the step. He's taking it nice and slow. I don't know how we're doing on... We haven't had any grass for a while either, so I'm a little bit worried about fodder. I think we should be able to outlast the winter, though. I'm actually pretty excited about getting into our second year. I don't know if they grade us or anything like that on how we did during our time here. But I'd love to find... I think I messed up a little bit on the front end. I, I definitely don't think that I farmed the best that I could have when we first started out. Come on, Moomoos. Yup, there we go. Give me some of that utterly fantastic Moo Moo juice. Perfect. And we'll set these on up so that they got a really, really nice buffet set up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now that we've got that all nice and resolved, I think it's time for us to head on out. And we're going to go check in on the old lady, make sure we get her birthday all locked down. I wanted to take care of her events. And make sure that if we have the chance, we can lock down. I got to do the Wizards event, too. And there's another book. Foraging is crazy in the winter. I'll tell you that. Foraging is like, it goes deep in the winter. There is just always something to do over here. So what does this do? You can choose a location. Oh, let's go to town then. Yeah. Oh, you can like instant fast travel around. Well, that's super badass. That's amazingly useful. So I'm going to stick that out long term. I may try to spend some time in the quarry in just a little bit too. I don't think the old lady leaves her house for a little bit, so we should be all right over here. That's Mary Lewis's house. I don't know how I always mess this up, but I always do. I always do. And it looks like she's over here. Let's go ahead and give her the mayo. You remember my birthday, thank you. This is great. 
And so that's probably going to bring us up a little bit with her. She was kind of far back, though. And so any gains that we would have gotten seemed like they'd be kind of minor. He just said thanks for that one. Apparently, it's not as good as he wanted. Him and his Triforce Rogue. He's got fancy desires in this world. Got fancy desires. What does this want? Art of Fishing Alive. 200G for a couple of tuna. That would take a bit to lock down. So I'm probably not going to mess around with it too much. Leia's birthday is coming up. Feast of the Winter Star is going to be coming up pretty soon too. Now that we got a little bit of extra scratch laid out, I'll probably go in on a few more trees. I... Let's get a couple of cherry trees in here. Yeah, that sounds good. A couple of cherry trees. We probably got time to make a bit more money before anything else happens. And so worst case scenario is I just fish it out at the end of the year. Fish it out hard. Maybe sell a couple of those cherry blossoms. Or I'm sorry, sell off a couple of those crystal gem fruits or whatever the hell they're called. Sell a little bit, make a tad of a bit of money. I probably want to hold on to them though. I don't know. We got plenty of materials for cheeses and refined goods, so... By the end of the year, we'll probably have another maple harvest, too, which will be another two or three grand. We've got time. We've got time to play around with. These saplings over here. Get them laid in. There we go. That's looking gorgeous. I can't wait to see how that all nice and fills out. I may also put in some walls over here, and then we'll have a separate field on this side. This road will run all the way to the brick wall over here. We'll clear this out. I'm trying to have a whole bunch of stuff going on so that we constantly have some kind of production taking place. Some more cheesers would be a good idea, too. Yeah. I'm leaning towards a couple more cheese presses, too, just to make sure that we're processing our milk at the appropriate speed. I think the best thing I could have done right now is probably just gone in on some more cows. But I don't know. The kitty wants something. I don't know. I just ignore him. He's like, my cat's in my house. They're always, you know, people might be like, oh, why are you neglecting your animal? I'm not. They meow all the time. They never do anything. Like, seriously, my cats sit around and they meow all day. That is legitimately all that they do. All day, every day. Just have, Look, he looked at me right now when I did that. He was like, hmm. Should I start screaming and meowing right now and making hella noise, or should I just chill? Eh. I don't know. Maybe I'll just chill for a little bit. Let's go back down into the dungeon for a little while. We got a couple things set up, and I think I'm ready to do some more adventuring. What is this? The bus to Calico Desert is out of service. Let's take this up to the mines. God, that is so much better than walking, and then we're going to talk to the dwarf while we're over here, too, because we can translate for him now. It's dangerous in the mines. Why don't you buy a few things from my shop to ensure your safety? What you got? Oil of garlic. Drink this and weaker monsters avoid you. Life elixirs, bombs, a mega bomb, a miner's treat. That's pretty good. A rare crow that's going to be dwarvish. We got a weathered floor recipe right there, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I want my floor to be weathered right now. That actually is kind of anticlimactic. I don't think he has good things that I want. Can I sell things to him? Does he want anything? If he buys mining goods and stuff like that, I think I'd be okay with it. That'd be pretty sweet. We're going to do that in the dungeon. We're in the same thing we did before, which is where we're just going to, like, vendor off all of our random... Yeah, there we go. He's going to start healing and dealing. A little bit right there. That's looking pretty solid. I'm trying to get my geodes out right now, but I'm not trying to spend too much time on it. We should probably get after all of this gold, though, because I'm planning on selling it once we go a little bit deeper down into the dungeon. If we see any iron or anything around, though, I'll probably hold on to that because it looks like our supply is a little low. It's not a hard thing to restock up on, though, so... It might go well, it might not. That box has a skull on the side of it, and I never noticed... That box seems kind of dangerous. It seems like you might be making a gamble or like some kind of deal that you might have to live with after this fact. Deal with the devil. I break your box, the devil's box. Be all up inside the devil's box, and then maybe I get what I want in life. Although you're going to pay in the end. I don't think you can walk past St. Peter knowing that you did that to the devil's box. He might not be so forgiving about that one. No matter how much you pray. There might be certain things. There might be certain things you don't come back from. I would hope there are. It just seems kind of unfair if there aren't. Get on out of here. Ain't nobody got time for your slimy shenanigans. I'm only killing you because I'm checking you off a list. 
What a horrible thing. <laughs> Why are you slighting me right now? Because the game says I have to and it offers me incentives for doing so. Not because I want to. You don't do anything particularly like conducive to my gameplay going any better. It's just I'm supposed to be killing you right now. Oh, little bug's trying to get me up in here. Nope, take that little bug. Back off. I've got my shadow blade right now whipping around. Whipping around like crazy. Ready to deal those deals of damage upon you. Who? You! Ooh, there's something good over there. Seeing something that's looking good. Let's go have a look. Kill him off real quick for some of the forageables. A little bit more gold. I think you get 50 a pot for gold. So if you can get a couple of those in, it might be like 30 or 50. I don't know. Oh, never mind. This hallway is nowhere cool. Nowhere near as cool as I thought it was going to be. I thought this hallway was going to have boxes in on the other side too because I saw the flooring. Apparently, this is a place where gold veins just sprout out of the floor. Oh, we're getting jumped right now. It's about to be a rough day on us. The bats are declaring jihad on us. I... Have we found the next stair to the... F I don't think we found the next stair yet. Don't think... I find stairs everywhere I go because I just have that sort of personality and that kind of dress sense, but... You get up out of here. He's apparently going to get the freebies in. I tried. I tried so hard. I pushed right. I pushed right, but it just didn't want to let me have it. Ah, looks like it's all over for them. We're actually moving down pretty quickly. As far as the dungeons is concerned, we're, we're, we're hustling. This is one of those days where I might hazard to try and go ten floors. Making sure we got stone, too, which is another big part. I like to use stone for everything that I build my house out of and whatnot. I like it looking good. Oh, man, I got no knockback right now, though. I hit the one key. It just didn't go like that. He dropped a strange bun, which I'm okay with. We chopped off his buns. Okay, his bun. He only had one. He had a previous injury. He had a previous injury that precluded him from the droppage of multiple buns. Chopping off monster buns. Somebody try to chop off my bun as some kind of like medicinal recipe. I'd be kind of upset. I'd be like, whoa, no, 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 no. You can't chop off my bun. I need that. Okay, I don't know what I need it for. Sitting on, presumably. I'd be all lopsided at the DMV looking stupid. I can't have that. Down, new me, new now, now. I'm a comma, down, new me, new now, now. My dome. Looking a little rough right now. I'm gonna look around for treasures. But if there's nothing around here, I'm going back up to the surface. We need to lick our wounds for a little bit. Which would explain why they keep getting infected. But you know what? People made the saying, so... If you don't want me to do it, why did you make the saying? We'll check the left-hand side and we'll call it a day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. Where winter is passing. I mean, it's passing. Not too quickly, but it's going as quickly as it can, I suppose. I'm going to grab this gold vein and head back to the house and sleep. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody. It was good to see you.